What is going on guys? Uh, today we have here a 2007 Toyota Tundra with the code PO419 It refers to the secondary air pump and uh, here we have the pump it's gonna be on the passenger side front tire so what I'm going to do I'm going to disconnect it and test it okay, so you have uh, two wires of black and red the black you're gonna connect it to the negative and the red to the positive side of the battery but if you have one of these connect the ground and you're gonna give it power to the red wire and as you can see it's not making any noise it's not working at all so gotta get a new one and so if you can uh, look underneath the tire you're gonna see this frame you're gonna have two nuts and one bolt and you gotta get that connection free that way uh, it can come out and you're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket to remove those two nuts and one bolt okay so what you want to do is move that fender liner out of the way disconnect that hose and as you can see this one was full of water so kind of be careful might have water might have dirt who knows but as soon as, as soon as you move that fender liner disconnect that hose and it will come out now this is the new one and i brought it inside because i wanted to isolate every noise that way you you can hear it how it should sound if you want to test it in the vehicle still Okay, now the new one, it didn't came with this frame, so we're gonna switch it over to the new one. And I thought I was gonna use those uh, bushings, but I ended up using the old bushings. So I'm gonna remove the old pump from those bushings, and I'm gonna use the same bushings with the same uh, frame. okay now I have the frame and I have the new pump I'm going to take out this cap so we can connect it to the vacuum hose and I have the old bushings and it should be ready to go okay and we are ready to go and just make sure that that connection it's long enough is not going around or stuck in a place because it won't reach that connector and then just like I did you're gonna have to remove it and fix that connection okay once it's there put on the nuts put on the bolt and the hose back Put everything back together and connect it. Okay, now it's ready to connect. Put it on that clip, connect it. Okay, once it's connected, we're going to go and erase the code. Hopefully, that take care of the problem. And as soon as you turn on the truck, you're gonna hear the pump. And there you go guys, now it's up and running and make sure you put everything back together. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next video.